For the SO4 2 minus molecular geometry, let's look first at the Lewis structure. When we look at the Lewis structure, we can see we have the central sulfur atom and four oxygen atoms around it. Looking at the Lewis structure, they do seem to be pretty spread out in accordance with valence shell electron pair repulsion theory. But remember, this is two dimensions, so we're going to have to look a little bit deeper in three dimensions to really figure out this molecular geometry. To help us, let's use the AXN notation to figure the molecular geometry for SO4 2 minus. A, that's the central sulfur. X, that's the number of atoms bonded to the central sulfur. We have those four oxygen atoms bonded. And then N, that's the non-bonding electron pairs on the central atom there. Well, all of the electron pairs are involved in bonds for the sulfur, so we can just ignore N. You could have memorized that AX4 is a tetrahedral molecular geometry, or if you have it available, you can look it up on a table. Going down our table, we see AX2, AX3, and there's AX4, which is tetrahedral, and those bond angles are 109.5 degrees. But remember, the view on the screen right now, the Lewis structure, that's two-dimensional. We need to think about this in three dimensions. So this is one way you might see the three-dimensional molecular geometry for SO4 2 minus. We can also use a model to help you visualize what that would look like. So that's the molecular geometry or shape for SO4 2 minus. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.